Fox News contributor Herman Cain and Florida Congressman Matt Gates. All right, Congressman, I'm going to ask you first. What do you think of this new report by the Intel Committee, uh, the Republican majority, actually? Well, this report is a decisive win for the president because it supports what the president has been saying all along, and that is that Russians had a greater involvement in the drafting of the Hillary Clinton-funded Christopher Steele author dossier than they ever had with the Trump campaign. No evidence of collusion still, and frankly, Judge Janine, this points out the need to disband the Mueller investigation because it's built on a rotten premise that has now been disproven with 250 pages of fact. All right, and Herman Cain, to you, what is your take on this latest report from the Intel Committee? My take, Judge Janine, is that he is not in hot water. He lied and lied and lied. And now Comey. we have to wait for the process to play itself out. Comey I'm talking about. We now have to wait for the process to play itself out for him to end up, end up in court such that a court judgment proves that he lied and tried to keep a cloud over this administration. He and others have tried to keep a cloud over this administration, but with this report, the clouds have parted, and now we're seeing the truth, and that's what the American people wanted to see. You know, what's interesting, Herman, is that even though you say that, you know, we want to see the courts get involved, the truth is that the Inspector General's report was supposed to come out in April regarding Comey, and now it's, they say, May, and probably even later than that. Christopher Steele, there was a reference because he lied to the FBI, I believe it was Chairman Grassley's committee, who made a criminal referral to the Department of Justice months and months ago, nothing's happened. We knew McCabe lied o over more than several yes. months ago, nothing's happened. What do you think it's going to take? I think they're slow walking the documents so we don't have the evidence, so the American people get past 2018, change, change the house. I absolutely agree with you. They are trying to slow walk this cloud, slow walk these investigations such that they get through November 2018. But here's the thing, Judge Janine, the American people, including some Democrats, are not stupid. We've had enough evidence come out, even through the media, that says he has lied and discredited himself and they are not going to swallow the gullible lies that the Democrats and the liberals are trying to push on the American people. They won't be able to slow walk this one because when that AG, AG report comes out, it's going to be the icing on the cake. All right. And Congressman Gates, you know, you, you ended by saying your last comment that, you know, it's time for the special counsel, uh, uh, Mueller's uh, uh, group to be disbanded. But today, or yesterday, I believe, it was uh, Chairman Grassley of the Senate Judiciary who led a bill out of committee supported by a few Democrat, a few Republicans like Lindsey Graham saying they're going to block the president from uh, firing uh, Mueller and disbanding the commission. I mean, on the one hand, we've got you uh, saying one thing, and then we've got Grassley saying another. Why is Grassley wasting his time with this kind of a bill? Well, Senator Grassley has done a lot to contribute to our investigation of the FBI and their wrongdoing. My concern is that we have some Senate Republicans who are more worried about protecting Bob Mueller than they are about protecting the United States border and our Constitution. I wish the Senate would take up the 500 bills the House has sent over to advance the Trump agenda and to restore constitutional principles. Instead, they're wasting time on this frivolity. The Constitution could not be clearer. The employees of the executive branch work for the president, and he can fire them. Okay, well, there, there's no question about that, but I'm just going to go back to you, Congressman Gates. One of the things that Chairman Grassley a answered when I asked him that very question, House passing almost 500 bills, Senate uh, doing virtually nothing, he said, well, you know, we've got the filibuster, so I can't do anything unless I have bipartisan support. What do you say to that? They have the filibuster because they want to have the filibuster. You know what, Judge Janine? If some Democrat wants to filibuster one of the president's appointees or meaningful legislation, let them take to the floor of the Senate and stand up and read the phone book or Dr. Seuss and let the American people see the <laughs> absurdity that is playing out in the Senate with Democrats refusing to do their job and take tough votes. And you well, know what? Mitch McConnell's helping them because he won't actually bring bills to the floor and he empowers Chuck Schumer and the Democrats far too much. Okay, and her Judge. McCain, what do you say to that? Yeah, what I say to that is he is absolutely right. Look, memo to Senate, 
you are not president. They're trying to micromanage the president by telling him who he can fire and not fire. It's his decision. And they seem to forget this. And this isn't the first time that they have tried to micromanage the decisions that this president has the ability to make if he wants to. Let him do his job, United States Senate, Democrats, and Republicans. And you know, uh, Congressman, there's, the, the, you know, America is fed up with Congress. They have one of the lowest approval ratings of anybody. I mean, I, I, I can't think of anyone other than career criminals who have lower approval ratings. But th they're not doing anything anyway. This resistance, this obstruction. Here we are, a year later, and there is nothing on Russia collusion. Nothing. And the Democrats keep saying, it's coming, it's coming. And we are wasting away the ability uh, to, to support this president. Republicans, too. What is their problem with President Trump? Well, your, your point is accurate. Congress has a 9% approval rating. I think Muammar Gaddafi had a 13% approval rating and his own people dragged him in the streets and killed him. So I think that we need to you know, get off our duffs and actually get in gear and engage in the president's agenda and move it forward. The American people did not elect this president to sit idly by and rearrange the deck chairs on the Titanic. We want a disruptor, someone who's gonna change the ways of Washington. And frankly, we got too many swamp creatures in both parties who just wanna keep everything the same and until we start uh, embracing this, this disruptive agenda to make things different inside the Beltway, I fear the American people will still have a negative view of our institution. And, and Herman Cain, yes. one last question. I only have a few seconds. What do you think the Democrats yes. are going to come up with uh, since most of that uh, uh, the House Intel report by the Republicans has been redacted? I mean, are they going to come out with their own report? No. They're going to come up with what they've always come up with. Deny denial and distract. Those are the only taxes that they have. And here's why, Judge Jeanine, they, you know, TDS, Trump Derangement Syndrome, <laughs> is no longer a medical disorder. It is a mental disease. That's what they're suffering from, yep. and they're going to continue to try to drag it out until November. All right, Herman Cain, Congressman Gates, thank you so much for being with us tonight.